Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach John here. Uh, gonna go over my favorite play in the Belly series. It's what I call Belly Blue Belly 22 Tackle Trap. Um, it's just Belly Trap. Uh, pull the tackle instead of the guard. Uh, again, we'll go over the way we name plays. We use Blue for motion. This is the name of the series. We're in the Belly series. I got the two back running through the two hole. And then this is our blocking scheme. So this is tackle trap. So basically, you know, we break it down when we teach the kids. Skill players, anything before the numbers, they're learning that. Anything after the numbers, that's the O-line, right? Uh, we call it speed and power, right? So we got two groups of guys. We got the skill guys. We got the O-line, D-line players. Uh, skill players are in the speed group. You know, O-line, D-line, those type of players are in our power group. So basically, speed's got to learn everything before the numbers. Power learns everything after the numbers. So, trap, pulling the tackle instead of the guard. Um, great uh, series-based play where, you know, again, you know, the two, the three, the four, and the quarterback, their footwork for the first three steps are all going to be the same on each one of the plays in the series. Really deceptive. Um, really gives the defense some trouble and love this play. So what we're going to do up front here is we're going to get a, a gap down backer with the guard. We're going to get a double team at the point of the attack with uh, the center and the nose. Uh, this is going to be our trap man. Anybody heads up past the, the guard is going to be our trap man. Because this guy's lined up in the B gap, he's going to have to take an outside release to get up to backer. Uh, our tight end is going to get up to backer. Uh, we'd like to kick this guy out, but basically I tell uh, my tight ends, if he breaks inside on this, take him inside so we can create this wall. If he wants to come outside, um, take him outside. Take him wherever he wants to go. The hole is going to be here, right? All right, guard is pulling and kick. I mean, our tackle is pulling and kicking out. Uh, just stock. He can basically take the play off. Uh, he could run a, you know, a, a post if he wants. Uh, he could do whatever he wants. It, you know, we're running away from him. Uh, motion, still running our our option, our sweep path here. Um, our three back is still going to take his side step and. What he's going to do this time, instead of going through the hole, is he's going to kick this end out if he if if he if this guy squeezes. So if the end squeezes down, our three back's going to kick this guy just to keep uh, our two back uh, um, from getting tackled right here at the point of the mesh here. Uh, the quarterback is going to still reverse pivot on his 45 instead of uh, uh, riding the three back. He's going to hold to belly and let that three back pass, and then he's going to hand off underneath. All right, so three back, sidestep through the hole, kick out the DN if he squeezes. Our two back is going to hesitate. Um, some guys will take their, their, a false step and go. Some guys will take one step forward, hesitate and go. I just leave that to timing on the fit when we're in practice, see what works. You know, some guys are faster than the other, and you just got to fit it. Um, but his pass should look something like this. Great play. Uh, had a lot of success with it. Uh, kids love to run it because this is a, a really a, a play that you can sell to your left tackle. As This is your pancake play. This is your highlight play. And make them own it and, um, and you'll get some great results.